somewhat like entertaining. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like, what is the, you know what? We've already talked about all this stuff. Have we? Yeah. We've had <laughs> almost this identical conversation. Unf- that's how forgettable it is. Um, I just watched something I wanted to talk about. Oh, did you see A Quiet Place? Uh, no, not yet. Oh. Is it, is it good? Yeah. It's actually really, really good. Uh, this is what I've heard. But I saw Blockers. I did not see that. How is that? It's it. It is funny, but it's it's it's. I mean, it is uh, kind of what you whatever you see in the trailer. I yeah, mean, that's kind of that's it's that's it. <laughs> I it's heard to be I, expected. I heard it was better than what people expected. I don't know if that's because they went in with low expectations or not, but. It was pretty much exactly what I expected, which I, I can't fault the movie for that because you have to at least meet my expectations. And it did that. Now, yeah. I'm not saying I, but I didn't have low expectations. I expected it to be funny. Yeah. And it was. Yeah. I kind of expected it to be along the lines of like uh, Daddy's Home, right? Uh huh. Where it's like, it's, it's not going to be like the top comedy of the year. It's not going to be a great movie but it's gonna be it'll it'll be funny yeah and it's pretty much what it was i didn't see daddy's home uh, those, no no i i've kind of given up on comedies in general oh jeez i know it's, it's one step closer to the end <laughs> it they i don't know they haven't when was the the a great comedy when was the last one a great comedy came out not just okay not just For, like forgetting Sarah Marshall. Yeah, how long ago was that? I think that was like 2008. So 10 years ago? I would say almost anything with like Paul Rudd. Paul that's Rudd a is comedy, pretty good. Is, is like, that's that's a top comedy. Like I have high expectations and they're always met. But I feel like I, outside I of Ant-Man, with what is always. it even done? Well, Ant-Man wasn't very funny. Well, no, but... Uh, that's what I'm saying. Outside of Ant Man, what has he even been doing? Um, I don't know. He, what was the one with uh, Sean William Scott? So role models. Role that models. one was funny. No, that one was a disappointment. I, really, I was very s- s- pleasantly surprised because going into it, I did not <laughs> care for Sean William Scott at all, and I thought he was pretty funny in that movie. You know what he was in was uh, Dude, was my car. <laughs> no, well, Paul Rudd. He, he was in uh, the Fundamentals of Caring. I have not seen that. No, it's actually really good. He's a, a caretaker caretaker for a kid with um, uh, I can't remember what it is, but he's in a wheelchair, and this kid is just like a jerk, and he they become friends, and he takes them around the states to go see these roadside attractions. Mm-hmm. And it's actually really good, mm. but uh, we just I, did. I just did a podcast with this other guy, with uh, Donovan, who has a YouTube channel Young Crip, where he talks yeah. about his life in a wheelchair and different things and stuff like that. It was actually really good. Uh, if you haven't listened to that one, you should totally check it out. But huh? Yeah, it's on my list. On Patreon, we also have uh, the Purge election year is coming out, and when we first met is coming out. Okay. I dig. Right on. (laughs) (laughs) It's amazing how well you are at selling things. Yeah, I'm not. I dig. uh, Like, that's all new information to you. You did those episodes. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, right on, right on. That sounds good. That sounds fun. (laughs) I look forward to that. Oh, man. Um, what uh, are there any upcoming movies that you are looking forward to? Are you are you at all looking forward to Avengers? Yeah, I think Avengers is going to be good. Uh, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, like, so the, my issue with all the Marvel movies to date since like Phase One has been it's been building towards Avengers Infinity War. Right, which means there there's a lot of expectation going into this one. Yeah, but the story wise, it has been building to Avengers. Yeah. So not even expectations, but just the story. They've been holding off on doing things because they're like, oh, we we have to save that for this. We have to 
move this. We have to point this in the direction of that. And now yeah. there's a big potential that this is going to end unsatisfyingly because it's going oh, it's, to need to point to the fourth one. All right. So it's going to, all this stuff oh, is going to end on a cliffhanger for sure. Yeah. But I, I'm hoping it doesn't end on a cliffhanger like Ki- Pirates of the Caribbean. Was it three? Um, or was it two? Remember, remember when they did that, they released two in one year. Yeah. that w- Was that three and four? I, it was I either it two was. and three or three and four, but I it, it was two. And three. Either way, they all sucked. Yeah. It ended terribly. It was like, you could tell it was just starting to ramp up and they just cut the movie off. And it was like, well, that was awful. And so yeah. I, I don't think that is going to happen to this. I think this is going to be a contained story because they're going to have other movies come out in between this one and the next one. But uh, I, I do think this is going to be a decent one. Yeah, I I, I just know that the, the, uh, the expectations going in are very high. So it's going to be very easy to be disappointed. Oh, yeah. I, I'm Do not looking f- forward to Solo, though. No, not even close. No. All, all, concerning the Avengers, now I know that this is going to be the end for a lot of the Avengers, right? Whether they die or they just move on, right? It's it's going to close the book on a lot of characters. Yeah. So do you think that there's a chance that, that moving forward that they – even come up with something that's even bigger and worse than what Thanos appears to be. Do you think, do you think the Avengers that we see, right? So they, they had this epic world saving battle and they defeat Thanos. And then the reason we don't see him after that is because everything after that seems so small that when they get the call, they're like, Oh, is it like Thanos again? And they're like, no. And they're like, okay, then find somebody else. (laughs) Uh, No, I think it'll be, I'm done. I think you'll be invested as long as you're invested in the characters. If if they can make you care about who is on the screen, it doesn't really matter how big of a threat that comes right. in, you know? No, I agree. And so if you're worried about your favorite character dying, you're going to be invested in seeing what happens. But if they like I don't think anyone would care if Rhodey dies. I don't think anyone would care if Falcon dies. I don't know why I'm just naming the black people Oh, um, man. <laughs> Dr. Strange. I don't, I don't think anyone care if uh, <laughs> Nick Fury dies. Oh, oh man. Um, I don't think anyone will care if Black Panther dies. Uh, so, like, uh, I can't even think of who else are sidekicks. Like, me. Hawkeye, I guess. Hawkeye. I but Hawkeye's not even going to be in it, I don't think. But, like, yeah, like Hawkeye, Scarlet Witch, Vision. I don't see why it would. They're all kind of the I'm, sub. You know, I am ninety nine percent sure Vision dies in this one. Yeah, sort of. Or at least he's not going to be between the two movies. So there's the scene of the the stone getting ripped out of his head in the trailer, right? Yes. So he's something is going to change. He's either going to die or he's going to turn into a man, which will be really weird if that happens. Well, they already kind of show a clip of him as a man but that could be just i don't know if that's a result of that or if that's even real life or who knows what yeah i because he he did he was able to create a cape right so he that's true he may be able to just like morph and change what he looks like well yeah that's true um but yeah so i, I don't know i think i think avengers will be good um action point looks pretty good which one's that? Uh, it's with um, Johnny Knoxville running the uh, amusement park in like the 70s. I have not seen that. I'll have to look at that. I, I'll i watch anything with Johnny Knoxville. You know what You know what looks really good uh, that I'm like super excited for that could be terrible is Upgrade. <laughs> have you heard about Upgrade? Upgrade. upgrade. It sounds familiar. Uh, refresh me. So, okay. I, I don't know the story super well, but... From what I remember, his wife yeah. gets murdered in front of him, and he can't stop it. He gets beat up and is helpless and can't who, do anything. Who is this? The The actor? I don't yeah. know. I don't know the actor. Logan Marshall Green, I think, might be. Oh, okay. I, don't I got you. I don't, I don't recognize the guy. He, 
he so his wife dies in front of him he's like he feels helpless and this new tech company is like hey we can help you we have this thing you can be this trial run we can help you kind of learn how to protect yourself or whatever so it's black mirror sort of yeah and uh they put in this this chip into his brain but the chip is able, he's able to give permission to the chip. So he gets attacked at one point in the trailer and the chip is like, uh, I need full permission to take over. Cause he's losing the fight. He's like, yeah. sure. And then he just kicks the crap out of this guy. Just like, like he's the terminator or something like he just fights him. And, right. but the way they film the fight scene is here. Let me just, let me send you the trailer. You are always all about the fight scenes. That is like the make or break for you in a movie. If it's an action movie, yeah, a hundred percent. Like if uh, if you watch a comedy and the the jokes aren't funny, aren't you going to be disappointed? This is true. <laughs> like if you go and watch a romantic comedy and there's no love story, aren't you going to be disappointed? Nah. Here, watch this trailer real quick, and we'll come back. One's pretty good. Yeah, right? Like the the action and all that stuff. It, it looks... The the way they film the action looks really interesting to me. It looks super mechanical. Yeah. Which is weird to look at. And but, the, the scene in the, the kitchen when he's like afraid of what his body is doing is... Yeah. It comes across really well. I think that... I don't know. I, I think it's going to be... It's going to be a lot of fun. I does have uh, potential. Now, have you or are you planning on seeing Ready Player One? I know you've spoken out against this movie many times. I have seen it. I've actually made a review on our YouTube channel about it. Oh, yes, I know. What a great <laughs> review. <laughs> you hit all the major points. Yep. What about Ready Player One? Did you see it? No, nah, I'm going to see it on Tuesday. It's boring. Yeah, I know you have no love for the movie or the book or anything about it. I think it looks okay though. Entertaining. Um uh what else? See, the other one that I'm okay. super not looking forward to is Jurassic World. <laughs> yeah, that that's so unnecessary. I I I can't see any way of it ending well, being good. No, and it's almost guaranteed to have at least one more movie, right, for a trilogy. So Probably, yeah. And you know Chris Pratt is not going to die. They're going to pretend no, like he's dead. No They're going to pretend like he's dead for about 20 minutes. He's not dead. And he comes back as a dinosaur. <laughs> that I would be on board for. <laughs> uh, we got Incredibles 2 is coming out this year, which should be... I'll probably go see that. Uh, I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to not live up to expectations though because Incredibles 1 people treat like it's the best thing ever and so I think a yeah, lot of people are going to be disappointed good. with the second one I think it might fall flat like uh, Cars did number 2 yeah. like Cars 1 pretty good movie Cars 2 is not good at all well so Cars 2 part of that issue well one they completely changed the format the Cars 2 changed who the main yeah. character was they changed what they were doing like everything was just kind of goofy but it was very heavily on the political commentary oh yeah 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 and it like was, environmental yeah and, and it felt very out of place like it felt it very heavy-handed and if you watch the trailers for incredibles 2 it seems like there's the potential that it's going to have a similar issue not so much oh, about uh well, it's going to be political, but not not environmental. But the it seems very much like a feminist, uh, uh, not not propaganda, but like uh, point of right. view. I guess I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say exactly, but I know I know what you mean. Because <clears throat> uh, I, I think it could be good, but if they're like too heavy handed with it, because uh, the idea is uh, Elastigirl, the mom is the one who is doing the being the superhero now and the dad is staying home and taking care of the kids and i think there's right, right. a lot of room for that to be interesting and funny and you know have these great moments yeah it just depends on how hard they try to hit the point of like yeah if you 
if you if you push too hard, then it's almost like uh, in your face thing, and it it becomes like uh, just too much. But then at the same time, if you don't do it enough and you merely hint at it, then you it's just a missed opportunity. Yeah, I mean, so, it, it just has to. There. It it just has to feel authentic and not forced. Yeah, you know, if they um, if it comes across as like the whole point is women can do things too watch yeah then it it feels very aggressive you're like kind of taken aback and the the point is not women can't do things but when you force a message into someone's face it's not you you're no longer telling a story you know what i mean it's that's it's it's almost the same way that i view protesting right no matter what what it is yeah it's the these people they're so aggressive with the way that they do it Mm -hmm. that it's like if you are even remotely trying to change my mind or see your side you're failing because you're making me like hostile towards you well even if it's not a big deal or maybe it is it it doesn't matter It, it doesn't it to me it doesn't work yeah well that that was the the thing i don't mean to get this into politics but do with, it with Donald Trump getting elected. I don't. Mm-hmm. I don't like Trump. I think he's a bad guy. Yeah. I don't think he oh, yeah. is fit. Uh, his. I don't think his character is good enough to be president. But when right. people are giving him labels of you know he's a rapist or he's a sexual deviant or a sexual assaulter or you know all these different things, or he's misogynistic or sexist or whatever, all that does is it it entrenches the side who is in support of him to defend him because if you go yeah, past sure. if you go past what is true even though people feel like that stuff is accurate and true there's not a lot of facts that you can back up to point that out and so when they right. say prove it and you kind of stumble you're, and you're just like oh i i don't know like you just look that's not a fact and so yeah. it just makes them seem more reasonable when you are being unreasonable, when you are yeah, exa- right, you could almost <laughs> you know argue I mean? that yeah, the the reason he, someone like that and, and it, you know Trump can get elected is is because of the people that are so staunchly against him. Yeah, well, like I, you you did way more harm than good. I mean, it, it, if you consider him being president of harm and not president good, yeah, then you you blew it. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's really tough when you when you create an enemy to be to sound reasonable at that point. Yeah. You know, like you have to so, you have to it's, it's, you, to make someone evil. You have to have really strong facts. Right. You know, you can't just say I, I feel like it based on these things. It has to be factual. Yeah. Otherwise, because. Honestly, if people would have just focused on what Trump did, what Trump said, and been like, you know what, I don't think his character is good enough to be president, he probably wouldn't have gotten elected. Right. Probably not. But because people were looking at what he said and saying, because of this, he is this, then it gave people room to defend him. Mm-hmm. And what were we talking about? The Incredibles 2? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh um, man, uh, <clears throat> I I, f- I feel like Pixar doesn't have a great track record with sequels, and no. the only one that I would argue towards is Toy Story. I feel like Toy Story one was great, yeah, and then I think Toy Story two was just as good. Yeah. Like I don't think it was. I I don't know if I I would say better, but I think it was just as good as number one. And then number three completely blew the first two out of the water. Oh, yeah. Number three is great. Like, they just, it, they kept getting better. And, like, I feel well, like cars, that's, that's that's rare in any franchise. But, like, I, I feel like Pixar's, Cars 3 was pretty good, too, though. But was it good or was it, like, good compared to number two? Uh, I feel like Cars. Because it came, you know, it brought it back to the roots. And, no, yeah. Cars 3 was good. Don't get me wrong. But it, it's. It's not the best, right? It's better than two, but it's not better than one. Well, like if Cars 3 was the sequel to two, right? If you 
take out Cars 2 yeah. completely. It, it's like a pretty solid follow-up. Yeah, I agree. Because I mean, that's it's, essentially it, it what they up, did, you know? Yeah, if only they could take out number two. Yeah. Just wipe it. Um, we also have Tag coming up, which I think is going to be a big disappointment. Tag? Which mm. one is that? John Hamm, Jeremy Renner, um, the group of friends who have been playing tag since they were 12 just throughout life. Like not just, huh. not like, oh, let's right. go play tag at the park, but their whole life they're playing like, tag. And uh, Jeremy Renner has never been tagged. Oh. So they're trying to tag him. Okay. Is it a comedy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a comedy. <laughs> it's, a, it's a horror movie. <laughs> Uh, Ant-Man uh, and the Wasp is coming out this year. I do look forward to that. I think that I, I think this will be better than I, the first. You think so? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I definitely think it'll be better than the first. I think they kind of figured things out with his character and him. Because uh, you look at Ant-Man in Civil War, and he's yeah. much better as a supporting character than he is as a leading man. Not not so much Paul um, Rudd. Yeah. But no, just it's Ant Man as Scott a Lang, yeah, yeah, because he I agree. he does better with um being kind of quippy, you know, like yeah. adding like something, guy. yeah, yeah. Um, so I think Evangeline Lilly is going to give him more room to be that character, yeah. Like I think it's still his his movie, right? I think he's still going to be the focus. But I think he's going to have a lot more opportunity having someone else to go with, like play to, against. To split the screen time. Yeah. So I, I, I think this will be a lot better than the first one. No. I was I was told by some of our avid listeners yep. that we need a new theme song because we don't really disagree anymore. I know. That's what I was thinking about, too. You, uh, you've come to the dark side. I said, yeah, Alan is maybe much more cynical than movies. <laughs> the only the only thing we even really disagree on anymore, and I think I said this not that long ago, was just the movies that I loved from childhood because that's just kind of cemented in. But as far as new stuff goes, uh, it's it's a lot harder to find a really enjoyable movie. It's, and then if it is, then I find that you typically also enjoy it. Yeah. So we don't disagree as much. I don't even know what to do with my life. <laughs> the problem. That, that the problem is force. you've always been unreasonable. Oh no. Here, watch. I just sent you the trailer of the first purge. Watch that real quick and let me know what you think. Okay. But I don't think that looks that bad. I don't know, man. It it really seems like the white government is trying to kill black people. Um Yeah, I mean I could see that. And I think it'll be interesting. Well, so the first the first few kind of had that message underneath, like subtly. And each yeah. one, it got progressively more in your face. This one feels very much like, here you go. This is what we've been trying to say. Hmm. Yeah, I could see that. Well, we'll see. It might be good. Uh, I had really high hopes for this movie until... I saw the trailer. <laughs> yeah, that's typically how that works. Yeah. But uh so yeah, that was kind of our thoughts on some of the upcoming movies and uh yes. some of our thoughts on politics and, <laughs> and just <laughs> a lot of weird things, but uh hopefully it wasn't that's too bad. Do. Yeah. If you want to uh check out what we're doing uh in the future, you can go over to Patreon uh for a dollar, you get all our episodes 2 weeks in advance. And uh, yeah, we will yeah. be back with uh, uh, Wonder Woman. So we'll be back on Sunday with Wonder Woman. Oh, Wonder Woman. Yeah. That felt like years ago. We did that very long time ago. Hmm. Okay, right on. 